I want you to watch this clip of Jon Stewart talking to Christiane Amanpour, the enlightened Western liberal elite discussing the Israel Hamas Gaza situation and what they want to see happening. Because if you want to see people living in an alternative universe, you can watch that right now. Have a look. And stop this carnage. So there have been certain plans floated. At the moment, the Israeli government wants none of it. It doesn't want the UN. It doesn't want the Arab countries. The only thing that the prime minister Does it has not see about, its isolation in, in the world? That is what its allies are trying to tell it, that you had the moral high ground and you are very close, if not having lost it. And this is a problem for Israel because the truth is, as all these people on my show tell me, all the, you know, the, the experts and the analysts and the leaders, that if this is actually isn't solved politically, then unfortunately it will keep happening, this vicious cycle. In the future of this, as you look at, when you talked about leadership, then who is the leader that emerges? It's, it's clearly not Netanyahu. What the Americans are saying now, and you saw Senator Schumer and others, that there has to be another election at some point. God forbid we would be, you know, meddling in another country, but nonetheless, there has to be an um, election See, at some point. See, by the way, point. that's against the rules-based world order. This thing, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, then, and then potentially, hopefully, open up another real possibility of a negotiated solution that's backed by the Arab states, as you mentioned, by the United States, by Europe, by all the vested... But why is this not yeah. the top priority of... Why is this not the only session that's going on at the UN? Why is everybody not stopping whatever the hell they're doing and, and hammering this out? Because, as you know, at the Security Council, there's a lot of people with vetoes and things like that. It hasn't got to that point yet. It's, it's amazing. These are people, certainly in Christiane's case, as I guess John is a comedian, but they're meant to be leading political analysts. And it's like their heads are totally buried in the sand. Well, we've just got to, if we just, if we just get rid of Netanyahu and just have, try to get, get everyone together and have a cup of tea and sit down, then surely if we really get our heads all together, then we'll find a way through this. You know what it's like? It would be like if, let's say the West didn't go to war with Nazi Germany when they invaded Poland, and it was just Poland fighting against the Nazis. And it's a few weeks in, and the West say, oh, come on guys, you know, you just got to stop the fighting. It's way too much carnage. Let's just try and have some kind of peace conference, a meeting of the minds. That is an exact comparison. You cannot have a meeting of the mind with Nazi Germany. Obviously, we learned that lesson that appeasement doesn't work. All it does is allow them to plan their evil attacks and invasion strategy. Sometimes you cannot have a meeting of the minds. The Palestinians have told us from their inception when they were just coming up with this national identity which really they themselves don't consider to be a national identity it's just a ploy to get rid of Israel they see themselves as part of the Arab world and that's true they are but from the very beginning they have told us until the modern day they've been very consistent that they just don't want a deal they're not really interested in their own statehood and self-determination. They just want to get rid of the Jewish state. And it was so outrageous that we didn't hear them. But it seems like people like John and Christiane still don't want to hear them. They want to infantilize the Palestinians, the Arabs. They want to infantilize them and say, well, it's just because they don't have enough civil rights or self-determination. No, it's not. Because we've tried doing all that for a very long time. And it's mad to me that these people, who are clever people, think after 75 years of Israel trying to do this, of the world trying to do this, where they were offered just recently 95% of the territory they were demanding. And they still just say no and then go and murder Jews. And Gaza was given, Israel unilaterally left Gaza and said, go on, try it. Let's see if we can do a mini two-state solution here. And what were they met with? They were met with Hamas on October 7th. And all the fault is left at Israel's door and Netanyahu's door. Oh, if Netanyahu was just a bit less of a warmonger. These people are living in an alternative universe. They're believing what they want to believe rather than looking at 
the facts looking at reality because it's so it's so difficult for them to see someone that a group that they perceive to be oppressed and a minority even though they're not they're part of the arab world which is the majority in the region but they perceive minority and therefore they'll take away their moral agency because they can't they can't hold accountable people that they perceive to be oppressed the whole thing is sick the whole thing is twisted and we have to realize that so many people just want to bury their heads in the sand but we can't allow us to dance to those tunes anymore because it's actually costing lives so if people like christian and john want to live in their fairy tale world meanwhile all that does is fuel more and more death and destruction we have to start not paying attention to them and just do whatever it is we need to do and also start boldly stating the truth because these people who perhaps some in the pro-israel camp may have wanted to appease or impress you can't appease or impress people like this they're so stuck in their ways therefore we just need to get on with it and have the conviction and confidence that what we are doing is right and it's just even if we are in the minority sometimes in fact always truth is not about being democratic truth is not a democracy what's true is true even if it's only one person that knows it and sees it hi everybody thanks for watching if you want to watch another one click here if you want to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest jtv content click here and if you're feeling really keen you can click the join button down below underneath this video where you can get perks including early access to new videos and private live discussions with me where we can talk about jtv content and strategy moving forward and i'll get to hear from you thanks again for watching